I don't know. There seems to be trouble in this palace. Uh, because uh, the attitude in this palace today has been very unusual. There is this unusual calmness. To the extent that the queen even sent for no war gently. Something is wrong. My brother, you are very correct. I've also noticed that there is something wrong today. This whole palace has been so unusual. Everywhere yes, calm. Like a young man don't want to. You see it. Mm. That's, that was my, my feeling. That's why I said, let me come and meet you. If you know what is happening. Forget. I'm supposed to be asking that it's coming from inside the palace. I, mean, I don't know what is happening now. Yeah? But uh, let's be hopeful. Let's cross our arms. It's alright. Let me go back to my duty post. But should in case you hear any information, just uh, understand. You let me know. Let yeah, me go back to my You are doing post. well. You are doing well. You are doing better. Adobe, come, let me ask you. There seems to be trouble in this palace today. I don't know. Things are just somehow. Is there ah, any problem? Ah, but... Wouldn't you mind your business? You want to know everything in this palace. I don't blame you, now. I'm the one that stopped you to ask you questions. That's why you have the girls to talk to me anyhow. See, don't mind her. Anyway. Majesty, you sent for me. Yes, I did. Go to Onogu's house. In fact, run to his house. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. Tell him he's needed at the palace right away. As your majesty pleases. Hello? Hello, son. How are you, darling? Mm. Oh, everything is fine. Just that I want you to take the next available flight and come back tomorrow. I know, I know what you said. And next month is too far. Even tomorrow is farther. My love, don't be confused. You are needed here. We want you here. I want you to come back tomorrow. Just take the next available flower. What is too big in that one to do? Come back tomorrow. Oh, sorry about that. But once you wake up tomorrow, just go to the airport and take the next available flight and come back to Nigeria. I'll talk to you again, okay? See you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, babe. We will be traveling to Nigeria first thing tomorrow morning. I'm being real here, babe. I know we plans to 
travel in two months time but something came up so I have to really be in Nigeria tomorrow you can come with me yeah let's let's go you know I'm, I think I'll be staying for long this time so I know you can't wait for me for that long, so just pack your stuffs. First thing tomorrow morning, we're out of here. All right, man. See you later. Bye. Um, the palace guard was here, and he said your attention is urgently needed at the palace. So. Urgently needed at yes, the palace? Yes, Papa. Yes. Mm. yes. Okay. Let me rush back. Okay. Mm. You don't want to eat? No, no, when I come back. Okay. Your Majesty. Oh, oh no. Your Majesty. Yes. Huh? Thank goodness you're here. Why the urgent um, invitation and the calmness around the palace? Oh no. There is trouble. The Igwe is in a critical condition. As we speak, he cannot move any part of his body. In fact, he's unconscious. So I called for you to come so that you'll be here before the doctor arrives to attend to him. Doctor, yeah, hello. what exactly is wrong with our king? Well, I can't really say for now. But we must move His Majesty to the hospital immediately to run some other tests and for wait, proper wait, examination. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Do Doctor, are you, are you saying you do not know what's wrong with our king? Is that what you're saying? Oh no. As you can see, His Majesty has run into coma. We have to move in immediately since we can't bring any equipment to run any test here. Yes. Um, in that case, doctor, please take good care of our king. Make sure our king stays alive. He's the king and the future of this kingdom. Of course, you know. He must stay alive. I'll do my best, you know. Please. Let's kiss you. Your Majesty, have you called the prince to inform him of the situation on ground? Yes, I did. I called him a while ago, just before you came. Good. And you told him exactly the way things are? No, I, I, I didn't. I only urged him to come home. I didn't want to tell him, even though he insisted on knowing why the urgent demand for him to come home. I still didn't tell him, because I just didn't want him to panic. But, but why? You think that is enough for him to come? Because uh, a turn like this, it's very important that he is around in case, sir. Uh... 
Not tell me. In case what? Please don't complete that statement. Nothing will happen to my husband. How about that not? I'm still afraid nothing happens to him. Um, the important thing is this. Are you sure that whatever you told him is enough for him to come? Mm -hmm. Yes. I know my son. And I trust him. Once he has promised he's coming home, sure he's coming home. Well, that's good news. Then in that case, I'll go let the other cabinet members know that the prince will be coming home. He will need such welcome. I will leave immediately to inform them. Thank you so much. I'll take my Okay, let me go sit by my husband. I'll see you. Okay. Bye. Yes, I told you. Yeah, the meeting is for five o'clock. Yes, all the cabinet members are supposed to be in attendance. Uh, how can we go to the palace and we cannot see the king and they say the king is not well and we can't see him? No. We have to meet at five to de deliberate on it. Uh, good evening, uh, Father. Oh, oh, how are you? I'm very well. Sit down. Uh, so, I hope you heard me. All right. All right. So, just let everybody know about that, okay? Thank you. Son? Yes, Father. You're welcome. Thank you. I can see you enjoy yourself. <sighs> what can I do? <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> oh. um, I just returned from the, the palace a while ago. Okay. I hope everything is fine. Hmm. Um, not everyone is fine. The king was rushed to the hospital earlier today. What? The king? I mean, what happened to the king? The king is in a critical condition. And as we speak, he's in coma. In coma? Yes. I mean, the king is a good man. He doesn't deserve any of this. He's a good king. I mean, why is this happening now? The, the queen has um, told uh, the prince about it and um, I think she has asked him to come home. Wow, really? Hmm. And uh, I think she also told me uh, that he will be coming tomorrow. That reminds me. Uh, yes, please, you have to you know, go with the driver to, to, to bring him from the airport, please. Okay? Well, I'm happy the prince is returning, you know, after so many years abroad. I'm really excited to see him. Because I know you'll be happy about it. <laughs> yes, I am happy, but mm. still very sad at the same time. I mean, he's coming back to his father in a very critical condition. I mean, I, I, I wish he was coming back on a good note, you know, a good place. It, it would have been better. It's a pity. But that's life. Life must go on. Yeah, but I mean, we have to be optimistic. I mean, the king could get better, yeah? That's definitely, definitely. Yes, I, I believe he'll be all right. So let's just chill. It's all right. I have some more calls to make concerning the meeting at the palace at five.
I am. Oh my goodness. What's up, darling? Thank you, Mom. They're friends. They're friends. They're friends, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome, my friends. Father, Father, it's me, your son. Father can't even talk to me. The condition is really critical. But why is he here? Why has he not been taken to the hospital? Your Highness, according to tradition, the king is not supposed to sleep in the hospital. What kind of stupid tradition? You mean he's going to remain like this? Well, um... He was rushed to the hospital yesterday when he collapsed. And the doctor ran some tests on him and we're waiting for test results right now. Has the doctor been here today? Yes, he just left when he came in. You're going to be alive for all of us. I will do everything within my power to make sure you get well soon. Thank you, my son. Honestly, I'm happy. I'm happy too, Father. But I'm still breathing. But my being alive or not joining my ancestors. Just get well soon. Okay? Okay, my son. <sighs> I can't believe this. It's the fire.
Why not? Yes. They're here. Yes, I was actually waiting for you to come out from your father's room. It's like you two were having a heartwarming discussion. Oh, yes, um, but not really. I've been there for a while. Yeah. Not really happy. Really? Yes, Mom. You're already dressed into something different. It's like you're going somewhere. Oh, yes, I'm going out with my friend. I'll be back in a jiffy. Oh, I had wanted us to have a little talk. Okay, Mom, but can't it wait till I come back? Okay, no problem. I'll wait for you to come back. Just be careful. All right, Mom. I'll See be you. long. <laughs> See you too. See you. I think you should be at the back. Back, okay, just uh, help me. You have to consider me. Yeah? Consider what I'm telling you. Don't put me into trouble. Here. Don't put me into trouble with this in your saying. See, forget that thing. I am the chief executive driver in this palace. Especially the king assigned me to the prince. And you know, very soon, the king will die. And the prince will take over. And once the prince take over as the new king, <laughs> I will sack you. So you better consider it now or else I will sack you. Don't put me into trouble with your sweet mouth. I wish I had the prince. Yes, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Um, the prince needs you. Oh, yes. Right. Yeah. Get the car ready, you're taking us to somewhere now, okay? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I said you to have it. So we're going to do it. Son? Hmm? I hope you're enjoying the meal. I made it for you, special. Of <laughs> course. It's delicious. <coughs> sorry, sorry. No, no, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> so, you mean for 10 years now, so, you have not forgotten the test of your mother's food. My love, without your respect, are you jealous? So my son shouldn't serve up his mother's meal again? Come on! No, mom, that, that's not what that meant. It's only, you know, trying to say I, <laughs> I, I missed your meal for, for 10 years. I eat your food, sorry. <coughs> so, I think uh, you have enjoyed your mommy's food enough. When are you going to start enjoying your wife's food? Exactly my point. I am getting old by the day. In fact, I'm almost tired of cooking for you. It's high time you started enjoying your own wife's cooking. When are you getting married? Well, very soon. No, like, I mean, very, very soon. As a matter of fact, I returned to this country with my woman. <laughs> what? You came back to this country with a woman? Yes, mom. How? Why? Son, I hope she's a good girl. Yeah, of course, dad. She is. I don't meet her. Thank you. 
So how are you? I'm okay. How you doing? Nothing really. I'm just um. I'm just on the bed, you know. I miss you. Oh, come in. But I'll I'll call you back in a minute. Okay. Oh, my mom. Oh, mom. How are you? I'm okay. You could have sent for me, then I'll come downstairs to see you. No, there's no need for that. I I want to talk to you in private. Okay. All right, mom. That's fine. Let me sit for us so that we can talk well. Even, uh, even when you were still abroad, I told you there was this girl I was grooming for you. Yet you came back with a girl. Mom, please don't. That's so absurd. God. Mom, not again. When you told me that on the phone, what did I tell you? I told you no. You can't, you can't obviously go ahead with, with, with the plan when I said no. My son, I am your mother. And you in turn is my only child. I want the best for you. This girl we are talking about is a good girl from a responsible background. She's also a graduate from a reputable university. Mom, same thing goes to this girl I came back with. You don't know her. You can't be doing this, for crying out loud. You can't be doing this. This is 21st century, Mom. Nobody selects a wife or someone. You do it yourself. And in my own case, I have found someone my heart beats for. Look, I, I appreciate the fact that you want the best for me. Okay, you love me, you want the best for me, but I also know what's best for me. Please. Okay? No problem, let me go back to my room. I'll see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. It's fine, Mom. But I promise you're going to like her when we meet her. Okay? So you don't have to be worried. Good night, Mom. Chiamaka. Um, there is something I want us to talk about. Okay. It's about the prince. The prince? What about him? You know, for some time now, I've been watching you intently with him. The relationship and everything. I want to find out from you whether you love him from the deepest part of your heart, as in to spend the rest of your life with him. Yes, mom. He's the best man I've met in a long while. Good to hear that. But I want to know whether he feels something, as in that love you feel for him. Is it reciprocated? He does. Okay. I'm happy to hear that. Um, it's fine. Let me go and prepare something for us to eat. Mm -hmm. Okay, mom. Thank you. Exactly. 
I welcome my daughter once again. Thank you. I welcome my daughter. So that Chiamaka is from the neighboring village. That's Omonebe. My pleasure, darling. You're so pretty You're and welcome. elegant. You can say that again, my <laughs> Lola. <laughs> She's the daughter of late Mazi Rebichi. That's the retired civil servant. <coughs> 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 Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. You want water? Sorry. My son, are you referring to Onye Buchi, the retired uh, civil servant? Oh, yes. Exactly, Your Majesty. Oh, my daughter. <laughs> I heard about his death, and that was a painful one. Your father was a good man. That's in the past now. Is your mother's name Muju? Yes. Uh, do you know my mother? Yes, I know her. In fact, we were once best friends. Oh, really? Wow. What is what? my word? Exactly. Like your boon companion. <laughs> Oh. Wow. Mm. Uh, can we quickly head to the dining room to have lunch? For sure. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Let's go. So how's your mother? She's very fine, Your Majesty. <clears throat> Oh yes, Mom, I forgot to tell you. Chamaka here was part of your scholarship scheme. As a matter of fact, she came out with first class. Oh, good. That's so nice. You are one of them. I'm That's... so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. That's super impressive. <clears throat> Thank you, Your Majesty. You made your parents and the community <coughs> proud by qualifying for the scholarship. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I wish your father was here to see this day. What his daughter has done to make him and the community proud. Well, that goes on. And I was going to follow her. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Your Majesty, are you okay? Your Highness. Yes, Doctor. What really happened? Doctor, I don't know. We were having lunch at the dining table. All of a sudden, he started coughing. We tried to give him water, but the cough continued persistently. And when this cough couldn't stop, we had to bring him to his room. Oh, so what, what do you think could be the problem? Oh, Your Highness. Just calm down here. Let me examine His Majesty. Let me examine him first. Okay. Just please. All right, Doctor. Don't you think we should take him to the hospital where you have all the equipment and... Don't you think so? Your Highness, that's what's been necessary. Let me examine him. Okay, Doctor. Just all oh, this tradition stuff is going to be taken to the hospital. Don't worry about it. I'll be downstairs, okay? I'll see you later. So I'm going to turn my car with you. I will. I will.
chairman. I agree, sir. You are welcome, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. <laughs> um, how is the king's health? Mm, go in and see for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see. Your Majesty, Your Highness, as we all know, the King is in a critical health condition that needs immediate attention. Doctor, that is why we have you. Think on what to do. Uh, we don't even know what to do. We are lay people here. I have to rush back to the hospital. So tell me, how is the King Fairy now? It's getting better. What exactly did the doctor say is the problem? He didn't say anything. He just said to run few tests and he will let us know when he's done. Why is she not back yet? She didn't tell me that she was going to pass a night in the palace. So what could be keeping her? God, please protect my daughter for me. The worst is that I have been calling her phone, but she hasn't picked nor returned my calls. Well, I will have to wait for her. I know she will definitely return. I know my daughter too well. If she knew she was going to stay the night in the palace, she would have informed me. Since she didn't tell me, it means she will come back for sure. Thank God you are back. Thank mm -hmm. mm -hmm. God. Sit down, sit down. I have a gist for you. What happened? What kept you so long? We forgot that we have an appointment. Eh? And the people are waiting for us. We were having this sumptuous meal. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, the king started coughing. And the next thing he started coughing blood. I thought the king had recuperated a long time ago. So why this sudden sickness? <sighs> the doctor said he has liver problem. Chimo. And he has 60% chance of surviving it. Liver problem? 60% chances of survival. Ah, okay. That one is not bad. I think it's good. It's better. 60%. 60 versus 40. Better. Hmm? He has a better chance of living, of survival. Ah, the king. Um, but is that the reason you are worried? I am so worried. No, you don't have to disturb yourself. You don't have to worry. Nothing will happen to your father-in-law. Hmm? He will make it. He will survive by the special grace of God. Hmm? Don't bother yourself. You say so, mom. Is there any food in the house? I, I like. I need to eat something. Yes, I could. Okay. Um. So I invited you here to. Discuss about your fiancé, Chiamaka. Okay, Mom. I hope there's no problem. That is a very big problem. You cannot marry that girl. And that is final. Mom, you're, you're, you're joking now, right? Does it look to you as if I'm joking? I 
been serious here. Oh, come on, Mom. I thought we've passed this stage. Can you tell me the reason you don't want me to settle down with her? When the time comes, I will give you a thousand and one reasons. But one thing I know is I will not allow you to marry that girl. Never! You will not marry her. Well, it's, it's not in your position to make that decision for me. After marrying Mecca, a girl I spent years grooming for you to be the next queen. I didn't beg you to groom anybody for me. Okay? I cannot settle down with who I have no, no atom of love for. How can you be advising me to do that? Afam, marry Mecca. When you meet this girl, you will agree with me she is a beauty to behold, a down to earth character, intelligent. In fact, Mecca is a total back in Mom, please say yes. no, say no, Father. I am not interested in Mecca or nobody. Okay? Chiamaka is the woman I want to marry. And that's fine now. Are you working out a Of course, it's obvious you have nothing else to say. Alpha. Looking so gorgeous. Mm. This girl. Well. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to the palace. I'm going to see my own prince. Uh -uh. Is he back? Are you serious? You, Esther, you of all people. Have you relocated from this village or something? Really? The prince is back now, yes. Like for real, you don't know. My friend. Neka, you know me now. You know I hardly go out, except if I'm coming to visit you. And for some time now, I've not visited you, my friend, because of Mama's illness. Oh, I'm so sorry, my love. I'm so sorry. It's Please okay. forgive me. Okay. How is she doing now? My dear, she's getting better. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry, I promise. I'm going to make out time to come see your mother, my friend, okay? My friend. <laughs> nee, my friend. Nee, baby. Can you stop? Nee, my you have started. Uh -uh. You have started. You got a package front. Package back. You Only know. You, you know. to just go sweet. <laughs> my friend. My love, don't worry. I'll see you soon. So, where are you going to? I'm going to the market to get some things for Mama. I need to prepare food for her. Okay. Mm. No problem. Don't worry, I promise I'll come and see you soon, okay? Help yourself. With I will. Be a big girl, I know. <laughs> I, I'm a good girl Make now. my friend. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter, once again, you're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> I know why you're here. Yes, I'm here to see you as usual. I don't believe you. You're saying something else. Your eyes are saying something else. I know you're here to say the practice. Well, you're not far from the truth. I'm here to see my prince that just returned. <laughs> That's my girl. I like the sound of your voice. Don't worry, let me send for the prince to come see you. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Thank you, my queen. You have a good sense of fashion. Thank you. Wearing too much. <laughs> Please don't make me shy. I don't want you to take off the top. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Good afternoon, my friends. Good afternoon. <laughs> Sir? Yeah? Please. Don't 
Sit down. Mm -hmm. Mom, who's this pretty damsel? She's the reason I sent for you. She's the girl I've been talking to you about. Her name is Neka, the girl I want you to marry. She's oh. beautiful, right? Yeah, yeah, she, she is. Nice to meet you, Neka. Same here, my prince. <laughs> All right, so mom, can we um, talk about this later? I've got an important place to be right now. Okay. Okay, so okay. later. All right, I'll yeah, see yeah. you. Make yourself comfortable, mom. Bye. I love you, darling. Love you. You take care. What? He, he, he likes me. Make her you worry too much. Of course, he doesn't have any other reason not to like you. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll talk about it. Okay? Okay. Thank you, my friend. I'm just happy you like him. <laughs> 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 My queen. My queen. Yes. You never told me that my prince is this cute. <laughs> Thank God you now know that he's cute. And that is the reason you shouldn't let go of him. You're a pretty girl, he's a handsome young man. Both of you are a perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Your Majesty. I promise I am going to do anything to make him my husband. That's the spirit. <laughs> so let me quickly get you something to eat. Let me go to the kitchen and instruct them. You sit in my chamber and wait for me, okay? Thank you, Your Majesty. What a wonderful God. He has done marvelously. Angela. Yes? Her Majesty the Queen asked me to tell you that she prepared a special meal for our guest. She has a guest? Yes. Okay. Just tell her it will be done in a jiffy, okay? Okay. Right. Please hurry up for what I asked you to do. It's important, please. Okay. You have done my very last thing for me. Ah, thank you. I like preparing my salad. Okay. Your Majesty, thank you so much for this wonderful meal. This is delicious. You're welcome. You enjoyed it? Very well, Your Majesty. <laughs> I gave them the accurate specification to do it for you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to clear the table. No, sit, sit, sit. Sit. That is the work of the maid. They are paid to do it. If you keep doing it, that means they're taking them off their jobs and removing food from their mouths. But well, Your Majesty, this is nothing. I, I, can actually, I can actually do this. Let me do it, please. You see? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Have you seen it? You are not just pretty. but homely. With proper home training. You are a wife material. Every young man should aspire to have. Not some overbuttered girl coming here to show off, dignified, all this show. I need you in this palace to occupy the position of the Lord when the right time comes. Not some uncultured, spoiled American brat. No, it is you I want for my son. Your Majesty, uh, is there any problem? Is there something you're not telling me? No, not something you should worry about. I'll handle it, okay? Okay, if you say so. Um, what of the king? How is his health? <sighs> my husband is still alive. Thank God. He didn't do a week, but he's still alive. He's a fighter. He will fight yet again to vanquish the ill health. Amen. He'll be fine. I'm praying for him too. I know. <laughs> I know. I want you to come again so that you can have 
ample time with the parents. Okay, I'll be here again to see my friends. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Let me call them to take the plates. Okay. I hope you don't mind. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my friend, my friend, you haven't changed one bit. You are looking utterly beautiful. Ah, ah, me, like this. Oh, stop whining. No, I am not whining. I am telling you because of the truth. You are beautiful. So if you call me beautiful, what are you going to call yourself? Please, whatever you want to say, just understand and accept the fact that you are my friend and I know you're beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but this America is looking good on your skin. No? Really? Yes, you are glowing. Ah. Eh? Mm. Which girl in this village has this kind of skin? Oh, please. Stop. <laughs> I've missed you. I missed you too. But stop flashing me. Anyway, what? How is America? Well, America is fine. It's beautiful. It's somewhere that everyone should be, you know. It's a very amazing place. God, when will I enter America too? Eh, hey, look at me. You will. It's somewhere that anybody can go to. Eh. Hey. Yes. Amen. No. Amen. <laughs> what? My friend, I heard that you came back together with the prince. Is it true? Yes, I came back with the prince. He's my fiancé and we are getting married soon. <laughs> I am happy for you. You know you are very blessed. You are lucky in this life, oh. Eh? First you got a scholarship to study abroad. Now you are engaged to be married to the prince of this kingdom. Hey! You are lucky. You can say that again. I am indeed blessed. Stop. <laughs> Please. Tell me something. How is the prince? How is he like? He's fun. He's caring. He's an amazing man. <laughs> My friend. Now, enough of the prince. I want to take you out. I am oh. taking you out to all your favorite joints hey. in town. So you eat. Should I say name in them? I know you like coffee. Um, I want college. everything. Um, I have bush so meat, palm oil, everything, right? <laughs> everything. Hi. So, my friend, where exactly are you taking me to? Ah, really? Are you scared? No. Oh. Maybe you think I'm going to take you to a jungle and maybe cut <laughs> up your head, right? I know you cannot do anything to me. Uh -huh. You are my friend now. Oh, you know. Okay, just calm down, relax. I will be taking you to somewhere that you're going to like. But first of all, we're going to be using a tricycle to the base. Ah, no need now. We'll just trek. Trek? You don't yeah. expect me to trek under the scorching sun on my skin. Hello, I'm not used to that bullshit. <laughs> I know you're all Igbo now, eh? Soon to be the princess of this kingdom. Yes, so I cannot wait for you to become queen so that I will enter that palace every day. Will you calm down, please? <laughs> Thanks, girl. Well, you know, the prince loved me so much. He loves me and I love him too. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This love is making me feel Are you somehow. having those bumps already? <laughs> Thank you so much. You are welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You really surprised me. I didn't even know we were going to the boutique. Oh. Hey. I wanted to surprise you. Hey! You see, now I am going to Gaj. Oh! The latest happening girl in town. <laughs> American style. Hey, hey. Let's go, Jerry. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, even weak. Hey! Hot, hot. <laughs> they find them, guys. Yeah, is anyone in the palace? Oh, yes, they don't know who is inside with some palace chiefs, my prince. And my mom? She should be in her chambers. Okay, just wait for me. All right. Now. 